Okay. All right, Paul. Here is the modified oar, and uh, it's got an attach point at the top for dragging it along with the uh, you know a top of drag point, and uh, the harness clips into here, and this is sort of cantilevered so that once the rope is installed, it actually comes up and uh, acts to clamp against the spine. And uh, also, it acts as a fair lead. I can put a, a roller in here. I'll show you in a second. Um, it acts as a fair lead and allows the top two to collapse down. So this one on the top basically functions as a rope wrench. This one clamps below with the climber's weight on the spine. And this one in the middle is the release, which tends to act as the hitch part. So you just swivel the links and install it like that. And it actually tends slack pretty good without a roller in it. But it's a little bit better with a roller, if I can find it. Also, when you're pulling it along, it's it's a little bit nicer to have this roller if you're pulling it from above. Also, if you're attached to your harness, I'll go ahead and do that. And you're you're starting to ascend with it, it actually does pull it along because it forces all the arms down. But when you're on a when you're on a single line here, we'll cinch it up, and you can see as, as I put my weight on it, it begins to clamp on the spine here, and then this becomes the release. Now, that's on a single line. If you want to switch over to double, what I would recommend, if it doesn't release by pulling on both of them, is actually undo this top one because it's probably going to develop too much grip. Then clip in here to make it self-advancing. And now it's a self-advancing, self-tending double, doubled rope. And it releases with the same lever the same way. And that's how it functions, the fair lead pulley and the oar complete. I hope you guys enjoy it, and thanks for previewing it for me.